Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Gary's Kitchen. This is Gary. I'm at my mom and my dad's and today we're gonna to be making some stuff for you. What are we doing? We're gonna make some simple hummus and then some pulled pork because we had some inquiries about it. So it's real easy to put together. So that's what we're gonna do. Except it's not pork, it's made out of? Soy curls. All right. Okay, I'm gonna make my simple hummus. Uh, it's a red pepper hummus, but it's a little spicier than the the normal red pepper hummus you buy in a store. You know, I went uh, to, at work, I asked people if they like hummus, and every, almost everybody likes hummus, but then when you ask them what, what it's made of, they, geez, I don't know. You can make this within the course of an evening before you go to bed at night, put it in the refrigerator, it's ready to go in the morning. So let's look at the ingredients. First of all, the garbanzo beans, or chickpeas. So I used two cans of those for my, uh, my hummus. I uh, add some red pepper sauce, which uh, I just buy a, a jar of red peppers, uh, throw them in my uh, blender, blend them up because you're gonna need some liquid uh, to go along with it. So this gives it, naturally it's called red pepper hummus because there's red peppers in it. So you put the whole jar in? I put the whole jar in. Okay. Uh, and then I also add to my mix some chipotle peppers. Uh, now these are pretty steamy. So you don't want to use too much unless you really like hot stuff. I just use maybe one and it gives it a, a deeper uh, reddish uh, tinge to it and it spices it up. So let's go. And also, uh, this is not one of the ingredients that goes into my hummus, but this goes directly into me. Molson vegan ale, perfect for making hummus. I make better hummus when I have a Molson's, Molson's ale. Check these. Now first thing, you want to drain them out pretty good. Wash them around. Slash them around. Pour them in. Now two cans usually makes a, a good batch and lasts for at least a week. Now we need to, before we start to blend it, we need a little bit of liquid. Here's my red pepper sauce that I blended up earlier. And uh, we may not need it all because you don't want your hummus, hummus too thin. You want it uh, creamy. Put some in. So make sure your lid is on, folks, because what did you do a couple weeks ago? Uh, I blasted cheese sauce all over myself and all over the refrigerator. And of course, uh, when I started to clean it up, I cleaned it up lousy, so my wife had to finish it up. So that just proves that it takes a lot of work to get out of working. We're almost there now. It is the time uh, to add the chipotle peppers, and I have some in a, a container that I've used previously. Those aren't too old, are they? No, they're a couple weeks old, and they're peppers, so I just use... A few weeks old? Yeah, I just use one. Now that's going to give it uh, a nice bite to it, so I usually add a little garlic. Now I don't like the powder, I like the granulated garlic more intense. And you, you just need a touch. That's a pretty good touch. That's my touch. Excuse me. Good hummus. We need a little lemon in it. Now we've got a little acid. We've got the hotness. I like sweetness too. I'm going to take some dates that I cut up out of a package. Throw those in there. So you get a nice combination of flavors going on. Dates, I never thought to add that to hummus. Well, now you did. Just a hair too thick, so you want to add just maybe a touch more liquid. You always never add too much liquid. You you can always add more, you can't take it away, especially with us. Mm, great hummus. And I think we're there. That's pretty good consistency for hummus right there. Taste test from a, a, me? Pick, a picky eater. Mm, that's really good. It's not too spicy. Not too spicy at all. It's got a little that's sweet, really good. A little sweetness to it. And, uh, 
So that's it. So thanks to this, you get this. <laughs> Works every time. Okay, so what are we doing now? Pulled pork. Pulled pork. Not pork. Pulled not pork. What we're gonna make now is uh, pulled pork and uh, had some uh, requests for it. We made tuna fish uh, in a previous video and it's similar uh, using soy curls, just a few other different ingredients. And I have been told that uh, you can't tell the difference between regular pulled pork and, uh, and the stuff that I'm gonna make right now. So I don't eat pork anymore, so I couldn't tell you, but it's, it's very good. I mean, lots of barbecue sauce, lots of flavor. I wanna show you something in case you're interested. Now I whipped up some cheese sauce the other day. Jeanette probably makes a better cheese sauce than I do, but this isn't bad. It's like a queso cheese sauce. It's very creamy. I like, always used to like to eat Velveeta cheese. So I made my own uh, and uh, I made this last night and uh, I'm gonna see how it comes out. There's my Velveeta cheese. You can cut thin strips of it, melt it on burgers. You can make dips out of it, melt this, make dips out of it, put it on crackers. It's very good. That's really good. And Same. it melts? It melts. Same consistency as Velveeta. Now, mm, you want me to have another piece? Now you take this cheese sauce that I'm showing you here, and it is very simple to make a agar agar, which is a, it's a little bit of ex expensive. It's a, it's a powder. It's a thickening agent. It's kind of like cornstarch in a way, but a little bit more high powered. You put a, a little bit of water in a pan, and if you want it real thick, it makes a gelatin and uh, you mix some of this in, you bring it to a boil and then you put it on simmer, keep stirring it and then whatever you want to dump into it, you put into it, mix it all up, put it in the refrigerator overnight and it'll thicken. But uh, agar agar, I don't know why they call it agar agar, agar is fine for me. You don't need the two agars, but it makes a great cheese sauce, cheese sauce. Okay, uh, now we're going to whip up some uh, pulled pork and uh, the main ingredient for this uh, is soy curls, butler soy curls I get online. Ingredients, uh, whole non-GMO GMO soybeans, uh, and that's it. So uh, what you have to do is I put them in a bowl, cover them with water for about an hour and they rehydrate. And, and these, uh, I, I, if it was tuna fish, I would have ground them up a little bit finer, but in order to get the appearance of pulled pork, I, I just took the uh, beans and sliced them lengthwise to give it more of a pulled pork effect. So what I'm gonna do is throw these right in the slow cooker. Now, we gotta add some ingredients to that. And uh, what I like to do is just take a pinch of garlic, a little lemon, Here's some more of that chipotle pepper uh, that I chopped up fine. This gives it a little tang to it as well. Some onions, chopped them up. Some mushrooms of your choice. Uh, some jalapeno peppers. I cleaned out the seeds though because the, the pepper itself gives a nice flavor. And some canned green chilies, which you can buy in any store. Dump these in there. We're gonna throw some barbecue sauce in there. Let me get my big spoon. I like the Texas barbecue sauce. Make sure when you buy it, you check the ingredients there's, uh, that there's no high fructose corn syrup in it. Stay away from that. It defeats the whole purpose of eating soybeans. So I put about a half a bottle in there. We're gonna mix it up. Lots of flavors in here. It smells good. Lots of flavors. Just a touch. We can always add more afterwards, but you can always put liquids in, but you can't take them out, which reminds me. liquid in. I hit the uh, slow cook button on uh, <clears throat> on this machine. About an hour we'll be back and uh, or maybe not. For people that don't have an instant pot can this be done in a slow cooker? Uh, oh yeah that's all this is. is I just okay. put it on a slow cooker. Just hit it with it, just a little salt. 
fresh ground pepper. Pretty good. Now we're gonna make a little sandwich. I melted some cheese sauce that I showed you before. You don't have to do this, I like it. It goes great with liquid vegetables. I'm gonna plate this. Okay, and there's our, we're gonna make a sandwich. This is, this is great for lunch, to dinner. Actually, soy curls on top of some potatoes and veggies is... Thumbs up. Wow. Messy, but good. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. I ran out of beer. That's all at the end of our video for yep, today. Out of beer. <laughs> Gotta end the video.